They've been doing their thing, a putting haters to shame, and they both got that master plan. It ain't nothing you can do to stop their thing. The Styles family, the Styles family, Styles family. previous video um, and we are going to get a little, a little deeper with this one so uh, you thought that was deep we're getting deeper we were in the phase of just like figuring things out because we found out we were pregnant we were in the middle of wedding planning we like are in the middle of trying to find a house so it's just like so a much lot, to go on. on so I, it's like it's a blessing this blessing is just like oh my gosh what now like do we pause everything do we continue uh, but we didn't. We hadn't made a choice. We we're just like, well, we're gonna figure it out. Just going with the emotions. We kind of, we kind of looked at it as if, if we got this blessing like this, without even like, just being positive, being like proactive and just thinking positively, we got this beautiful blessing. The house we want is gonna come. The one we want is gonna come. If we obviously you gotta put the work in behind it, but we weren't, we weren't going out our way to do anything super extravagant to like make it happen. We were just like going with the motions and doing what we were already doing and going along that path. Um, so, uh, you know, we, the days or weeks go by, so you know what, let's, let's go get a sonogram. It was literally, like, the next day, so we found out <laughs> in the nighttime, literally the next day, we were like, oh, we need to go to the doctor, we need to find out how far along. I'm sorry, yeah, okay, it was like, it was like two days, it was like two days. Yeah, because it was actually, was, that was a Friday, it was a Saturday, because my doctor is not, my gynecologist is not open on Saturday. Right. So two days, so we called Monday to, like, make an appointment. I think we saw them Tuesday. And they they were like, we don't have an appointment um, coming up close. And I was like, no, I need an appointment like right away because we wanted to know and we wanted to make sure everything was okay. Right. Uh, so we wanted to go right away. So we did call that Monday, made an appointment, but the appointment didn't come for like another week because we had Okay, so that, that was so I confusion. think we um, either like Lola came here like that time. TTK, remember? Oh yeah, yeah. And then and we then went we, to Atlanta. Like. We, couldn't, we couldn't say anything. Yeah, yeah. That was that was interesting too. Yeah. So we we found out we got made the doctor's appointment to like figure out how far along we were, and then my best friend came over for like the week. Right. And went we, to Atlanta. Wait, did she come over before? No, maybe she came over after we came, no, after we went to the doctor. No, she came over after we went to the doctor. I don't remember, but the, the point is because like, we, I wanted to like say that because we were so excited. But no, she came, we went to the doctor. So the week passed, we went to the doctor. Um, Got the sonogram. We heard the heartbeat and everything. It was a very strong heartbeat. I was super emotional. He came.
all those things saying we're not gonna get pregnant, I think like you were kind of nervous, right? Um, to be honest with you, I, I was I was wor I was worried that it would be like a situation that something was possibly wrong, like early on. So I was just like, "How's the heartbeat? How 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 big is it? How does it look? You know, does it sound strong? Is it good?" She's like, "Yeah, it's very strong." And I heard it. The heartbeat sounds strong in my heartbeat. I said, "Damn." Yeah, but well, that's because the thing. No, nah, it, 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 it's back in the heart. But it sounded like it sounded strong. And I was like, "Yeah, let's go." So we um, ended up finding out then that we were nine weeks or eight weeks. Just say on I think we were seven weeks because we were like, oh, seven weeks? We can wait till nine weeks to tell everyone. Or we were nine weeks and then we were like, oh, at 12 weeks we'll tell everyone. Um, Something we, like that, yeah. We were just so excited. We got pictures, we got the pictures, and we're like, oh my God, who do we tell first? Um, right, yeah. that, was, that was a tough how one. How do we tell people? The biggest thing I think was like, who do we tell first? Right, right. Right? And she, you know, Nova wanted to do like a big, like, bang. And I was just like, yo, I'm just going to tell them, like, yo. Well, that's how he is with everything. So, and I'm like, <laughs> no, like, it just as special as it is for us, it's for everyone else, too. I mean, I don't, not many people, we have, this is our first time, like, sharing, like, that we have we have issues and things like that. So people don't really know, like right. our our families and friends don't really know like the problems. So it's just as special for them as well, you know, because they're just excited like for a grandkid. So we were just, I was like, baby, we have to like to do something special to let them know like they're gonna be no, and, and, and that makes and sense. And Look, looking back on it, I would definitely want to do that like now, you know, that makes sense. Um, so fast forward like another week, mm. we're gonna have for what the situation. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, so fast forward like another week, we can oh, maybe have... two weeks. It was two weeks, so those those two weeks were brutal, yeah, for me, yeah. <laughs> For me, well, for me too. Well, so he had to deal with it, like. But um, she was having like in intense stomach pain. She wasn't really eating that much, and it kind of reminded me of like the symptoms she had when she was having stomach issues. So I'm like, I'm like, oh man, you know, I'm just like, all right, we gotta get you to eat. This, this, this. I'm trying to figure. I'm, I'm looking up stuff. I'm, I'm trying to like do the best I can. She I could eat nothing. Not I could like, not eat And anything. part of me was a little mad because I'm like, yo, you're not just. You, you got to you you feed a little me too. Oh, like, what, mad, like, what are you doing? I say he was mad. I'm like, what are you doing? You, like, what's up with you? You know? So I was a little upset about that. But, but I mean, it, it's really difficult because even the, my favorite foods, I didn't even want to have. So you know, you had to know it's not me. No, nah, yeah, but you you are also kind of stubborn with what you eat. Like you're very like your food is like like your, like your mood. Like you have to. You can have your favorite food, and if it's too cold, you're not gonna eat it. It's like, I'm like, oh, it's it's food. But I'm different in that regard. I'm like, yo, eat the food. Like, you gotta nourish your body. You got a baby in you. But anyway, it was hard. Like, I was yeah, vomiting. Yeah. I was feeling nauseous. Like, I felt so tired. Like for a few for a few days, I was like literally sleeping, laying on the couch for like right. days. I'm just like, yo, babe, drink this water. Babe, drink this. Babe, I would, eat like, this. Feel nausea, babe, you want back? You want foot I'm like, I'm trying to like make sure things are good, but it's just like. Uh, and she, he's drinking the water, and she, you know, she's like a like a bird, like you know, like little, little pieces. <laughs> what? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> so she's she's she's, she's made the effort to eat, and I'm giving her the food rolls and back rolls and stuff like that, but it was just not working at all. Um, that was like a really tough, I guess, first trimester. Yeah. So then, um, we, we were home one night, and I'm usually like I was supposed to go out, but I think I was home that day, and. It was raining like like it was raining like it never rained before like it was like Noah's Ark kind of raining like <laughs> and I don't even remember that it was, it, was it was raining it was raining it was raining bad yeah I didn't might even be a thunderstorm for all I know but <laughs> but we were like like doing our normal thing I think we were like straightening up the house right, right, getting ready to like either like order some dinner or something like that or make some dinner right it was like a normal kind of like evening yes and then I was I was like babe. Stomach hurts bad, right? I was yeah, like, yeah, like, bad. Like, literally bad. Um, and then he was like, Well, just like lay down, relax, take it easy. And I was just like, Nah, it's 
like something's not right. I think you would. I think we did order food, and then when you came back, because I, f- I feel like I was at the sink. Remember? And I was like, Yeah, hey. you shot like throw up. Yeah. I mean, I was about to throw up, but then I was like, I felt like this might be like TMI. Yes, <laughs> but I, I was just like, Babe, I think like I use the bathroom. Remember? Yeah, that was your exact purpose. I was just like, I think I used the bathroom myself. And with my stomach issues, like, we've already, like, been through stuff like that. So, we kind of, like, didn't think it was, like, anything, like, like abnormal because right. this things like this have happened to me before. But it just felt different. Like, and then, I think prior to that, I was just like, babe, there was a little bit of blood, right? Yeah. There was a little bit of blood. And then I'm just like, oh, babe, I think it felt like I was, like, did number two on myself. And he was like, oh, go, like, go upstairs, go take a shower, right, um, go check to see, like, go take a shower, wash yourself in case. Well, hold on, we, we skipped the part. So, I think, no, I think when, I think when you were at the sink, you, you probably did drop or you didn't drop. And I said, oh, babe, go upstairs in the bed and just lie down. Like, don't stand up, you know, if you're feeling nauseous, you might fall over. Mm-hmm. So, go in bed, lie down. You were lying down, you were kind of just tossing and turning and, like, holding your stomach. And he was like, babe, I don't feel good, I don't feel good. And then that's when you said, I think I did number two on myself. Oh, okay. And I remember you got up off the bed, and the bed was just like bloody everywhere. Like like all over all over all over the bed was just bloody. And I was like, fuck, you know? So, um Because if when you're pregnant, there's not supposed to be any kind of blood. Right. No kind of blood. At all. And it was just like it was like a murder scene, you know? So I see that, but I'm like, all right. I mean, obviously at this point, it didn't, it didn't hit me yet. I'm like, that's not good, <laughs> you know. But I'm like, all right, cool. So I, I cover the blood with the sheet. I don't want to see it. I don't want her to like freak out. So I cover it up. Um, and then that's when she said, like, I get the number two myself. And I said, all right, so let's just go to the shower. Let's just wash you up. I get to the shower, and um, oh no, 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 no. I'm skipping parts. I'm sorry. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. So. After that, after, um, you said you felt like you were bleeding. And I was like, you was like, oh, babe, give, give me a pad. So I got to the pad. And then, um, you were still in bed tossing and turning. Well, he got the pad. I wanted him to give me a pad because if there's blood all over the bed. Right. Like, obviously, I know I'm bleeding. So, but I didn't know how much blood was going to come right, out. Right, so, I'm right. like, get, like, give me a pad just in case. So, like, I'm not getting blood everywhere. Right, right, right. Um... It was like, it's, it's, it was kind of traumatic too, so we're kind of like piecing no, together. No, it was really traumatic. Not kind of, yeah, yeah, I'm being like, um, but the gist of it is we get to the shower and, you know, um, <laughs> she had a pad on and in the pad was like the, the fetus, you know, the fetus was in the pad, all bloody and stuff. And it was still more stuff for her, like coming out. And I'm just there like, babe, don't look down, like look up, I got you, you know look up enjoy the hot water and i'm just pulling stuff out not like not literally like this but <laughs> it's not even funny but no you was yeah I and, guess I, I was. and uh like before like as he was saying don't look down i looked down and like like i saw it yeah and then she started crying like hysterically because like it was just like no and i'm not that that's that's a fair response it's like did doing. you uh, like you know how like you see like in schools or something like that or like in college and they're teaching you all about like the human body and like life how water, babies yeah. life and you see they show you that picture of like a fetus that's literally what it looked like like a little fetus like a little thing and i was just like yeah it was, yeah, it was crazy right yeah yeah he um, was like look up don't i told you not to look yeah. he was trying to protect me you know from- yeah because in that moment i i realized what like what had transpired and now my my goal was to just focus on my fiance i realized that i could no longer focus on the baby the baby was no more so i had to just protect her and her mental state and her physical state and everything about that emotional everything so don't look don't look down i got this i'm gonna take care of it so um yes yeah, so i'm pulling stuff out it's not it's not just the fe- it's not just the fetus it's like stuff that the fetus is connected to all kind of fluids all kind of stuff so i'm pulling all that out because and it was like he had to pull it out because like i don't know what was going on it was like literally like stuck in my vagina my passageway i don't know it was just like what i felt was like i had given birth and we were just like getting the the placenta out that's how i felt because i was like 
I just felt like this stuff just hanging and then it wouldn't come out. So I don't know what it was. If it was blood clots, I have no idea what it was. But he literally like had like to pull the blood out, pull the clots out, whatever that stuff was that was coming out, they pulled it out. So I, you know, I pulled it out. It's in the pads with those. I was comedian, and wrapped it up, and I remember because um, while she was in the shower initially, I kind of had like a good ten seconds. I went on Google real quick and I looked up like what to do if you're having a miscarriage. And if I remember, it said to save the. Uh, Whatever you pull out, save it, you can bring it to the doctor and they can tell you why you probably have a miscarriage. So I said, alright, you know, you gotta figure this out. So grabbed it, I had a Ziploc zip bag, put it in a Ziploc bag, sealed it up, and I threw it in like a, I threw it in one of the closets. <laughs> um, and went back upstairs to make sure she was good. And then uh, showered her up, put her to bed. She was kind of just like, I think you went to sleep. I think you knocked out. Yeah, because I was crying so much. Yeah, like, you, like, like, as cried, I was like, in the shower, yeah. I was like, all that was coming out was just blood. It blood, was just yeah. blood everywhere. Yeah. And the shower, I mean, it was good. The good thing they told me to go to shower because if I was like out and not in the bathroom, like we have beige white, like almost white carpet, yeah, it would have been, been horrible. So. Like I was yeah. just taking a shower, just rich I was just letting the hot water go. It didn't really feel painful, you know? It, but it was just like a lot of blood. It didn't feel like painful at all. Yeah. Um, Whenever you see blood like leaving your body, it's, it's never like a good um Right. It was a lot, a lot, yeah. a lot of blood. blood. So yeah. that's all I was concerned. But I like it it once I felt like I had went to the bathroom, like all the pain had stopped. I guess like whatever was happening during that time, that was the painful part. Right. And then after that, it was just like whatever was left was passing. Um, but I literally, I guess, just like cried myself to sleep. Yeah. What did you do? I don't know. I was sleeping. Um, so. I was doing was I was just doing research on my phone the whole time, like what to do afterwards. Um, if there's any risk of infection, like I found out we can't have sex. Not that I was thinking about it. We couldn't have sex for like two months. They say like six to eight weeks. Um, if they, she, she can expect to bleed for six to eight weeks. Um, that I did. Soreness, tiredness, fatigue, uh, mood swings, all kind of stuff to expect. So I was kind of just like briefing myself on what to expect uh, going forward over the next course of the next few weeks. And yeah, that's what I was doing. That's what I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> It's just like it's so it's like so traumatizing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like that has to be like one of the like scariest moments of my life. Like I've never seen anything like like that at all. Anything. It was a movie. It was a movie for sure. It was a movie, and I, and I remember I said like I would never wish that on like my worst enemy, man. Because like it was so. I think I handled it well. I'm not. I'm not saying like I didn't feel anything. I just I just had to immediately adjust my uh, my feelings towards the situation. So no, no no longer thinking about the baby, thinking about my fiance, making sure she's good and making sure I'm good. And it's just like nature versus like like fight or flight. But I just instinctly just switched into that mode of protector and dad and fiance and just like all right, we're doing this, boom. So I, I think I'm okay mentally and physically going forward. I don't know about your state now. Uh, I I think I'm much better. I just I I feel like. It was really traumatic and I'm not, like I don't know many people that have had a miscarriage. I've heard about more of a, about it now and this that was the reason why we wanted to share our story because yeah. people don't really talk about it, especially brown people don't really talk about it publicly. Right. Um, so I'm not sure like if when people, if this is like common for people to have a miscarriage and like actually see like a fetus and see all that blood everywhere. Right. Especially not for the men. Like maybe women experience that on their own, and they're like, tell their partner, like I had a miscarriage. They haven't experienced that. So for him to experience as a man, I think that's just like a unique situation um, in itself. And then for us to experience it together, because we were here together. If I was here by myself, he probably would have found me in the blood, <laughs> like in the I don't know the shower. Or he would have came home to something. And he would have been like, what the hell, Kathy? He probably would have thought like. Somebody came in and robbed the place and like tried to kill me or That's something. Not funny. No, right? No, but, but if it was by it was myself, that much, like it was that much fun. I would have called him like crying and thing, like it probably would have been a mess. Yeah. So for us to experience it together, um, as traumatic as it was, 
it's a unique situation and I don't think like many people have experienced miscarriage in the way the tra traumatic way that we did so we wanted to share a story and share how like babe really supported me I appreciate it for you for that babe uh -huh. like really supported me through the process and like through one of the craziest things that we probably I mean, we've been through some crazy things <laughs> as a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like one of another crazy one thing crazy to things. add to the yeah. things that we've experienced uh, as a couple along the way. Yeah, um, and I want to say too, like I take my hat off. I know you touched on it, but I take my hat off to all the women who go through that, man. Like a lot of men, like you said, because again, I've seen videos. No, I haven't watched videos on it. I'm not like about that, but you know, you go on Instagram. And, oh, I had a miscarriage. And I'm like, eh. You know, like like I had no like feeling no compassion towards it i did i really just genuinely didn't understand it and now that i've witnessed it myself and i, I guess gone through it on the on the on the other side of it experiencing it that shit is crazy that shit is not for the faint of heart i, I, I feel bad I, I feel compassion i feel um i can take my hat off to whoever goes through that alone man that's that's fucking especially at home that's fucking rough man and I don't think the issue is like the actual, actually experiencing it. I think it's like the mental trauma afterwards. Because like, again, it's not just if you have miscarriage. You bleed profusely, depending on how far along you are, but for six to eight weeks. Like she had to wear a pad for six to eight weeks, you know? Um, it was eight, it's, it's, and it's like eight, It's like heavy eight. flow. It's not, it's not like no little spot, spot, spot period. It's like a heavy flow of six to eight weeks, you know? Um, and that can hinder you in life, you know? That can hinder you to go to social events. She didn't go to social events because of it. She, she still went to a, on, a, on one vacation trip, but she couldn't really enjoy it, you know? She just made a, the, a, 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 her thing to make her, a, her presence there, but she didn't really go to enjoy the trip. She just wanted to go to support her friend. But yeah, man, we've been through a lot throughout, throughout the process, and we kind of had to, like, save face, too, because we, were, we didn't want to we, we tell Cause it was, we, we were on the fence of like, yo, should we tell our parents? Should we tell our, our brothers, our, our sisters, our loved ones? Because like, it's not good news, you know? And we're like, all right, hey guys, we were pregnant, we had a miscarriage. Like, it just, it just doesn't, you know. But I think that was a difficult thing for us as well because we were literally about to tell everyone like yeah, we the, were next, the next week. Yeah. And then it happened. Then it happened. So it was just like, it was like oh fuck, man, yeah. like, yeah. okay, so we were about to tell everyone. Good but news. Now, and so now it's like, horrible news right you know and who wants to receive horrible news nobody but we we, we talked about it amongst ourselves and we was like yo we have to share your story because i noticed i know there's somebody right now who who's going to hear this and be like right, i'm not alone because i mean i don't feel alone because I, I have my, my partner my, my, my fiance but there's some single woman going through this right now and she's alone man and that shit is rough like that shit is rough 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 and and guys man, we, we gotta step up man we gotta be there for a woman man Go, go to doctor's visits if you can. Don't just sit down and watch NBA basketball, play 2K or whatever. Go to these events, man, because they you need to be there to get the knowledge and information. Like, you need to see firsthand what's going on. Like, every guy should be at their, their, their person's, like, Sonogram event, you know? Not event, but their, their, whatever it is. Like, I'm just a little emotional about it, but you gotta go to these things, man. Like, it's, it's, it's very important, and we need to do better as men just going forward, for real. That was good, babe. That was good? Uh, no, because it yeah, is it's, so it's it's, true. I, I think it's, it's, it's a good perspective to have to share, especially, like, your experience yeah. and everything, because not all the time, like, men are there right by their woman supporting, and so for you to, like, say that, encourage it. Like, no, I mean, we got to do better. We got to do better. I, yeah. I think that's good. And, I mean, that's, that's, that's why we do this. That's why we have our YouTube channel. Uh, to share like our experiences to connect with other couples as well as single people as well and to inspire um, other couples and other people to to do things in life yeah. right things that we have experienced things that we will experience um, and things that we may not experience but to to overall like just be an inspiration to couples young black couples young brown couples couples everywhere to be like that the, uh, an inspiration through our love and in no way like are, are we perfect is our story perfect yeah. um but it's perfect for us <laughs> it works for us so yeah that's what matters you know uh so 
it took us a while to really think about if we were going to share this right. if we were going to share our story as much as we're on social media and we share things there still are things like you like want to keep to yourself right, 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 right. we want to keep to ourselves so we went back and forth about it for a while we wanted to share and obviously we decided that we're going to share for all those reasons that we just mentioned right also, I also think it's, it's, it's good for us to share and talk about it. And it's like, a little therapeutic. Right, yeah, yeah. Therapeutic for us to, to share it as well. Right, right. And we don't know what's next for us yeah, in well, our fertility journey. Well, and this, I know this is only the beginning. Like, there's people that have, like, had a journey for, like, years yeah, and multiple yeah, miscarriages. Yeah. And this is, like, just the beginning for us. But, like I said, our experience... Like, we feel our experience was really, really different because of the way it happened and how traumatic it was to see blood, the fetus, all of that. So yeah. and we wanted to share that part. Yeah. TMI, like, I couldn't throw it out. Like, um, it, it probably sat there for like a week and a half, two weeks, sticking up the closet. Like, it, oh, it smells so bad. I, I was like, I was like, one time I went in the closet and I was like, wait, what is that smell? Is the fetus in the closet? I just knew because the smell. I knew he put it there. Yeah. I'm like, is the fetus in the closet? I was like, yeah, I'm sorry, I'll get rid of it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, what? At that, point, at, that point, I had, like, what? at that point, I had to get rid of it, but I just, I physically like couldn't draw it out. Like, I remember one day I went to go draw it out. I was like, yo, I, I just couldn't do it. I'm like, what? It was what is it was it so weird. Now you're so weird. Right? But it smelled so bad I had to draw it out. It was just it's like, yo, so, like, like a, a dead person. It was a dead body. Yeah, yeah. it smelled like. I never smelled it before, but now I know what it smells like. It was really bad. Yeah, I bad. got to smell it too. Yeah, it so bad. I opened the closet like, what the heck? I'm like, dang, did I leave something in? I was like, what's going on? Yeah. Uh, but he got rid of it. And so yeah. we don't know what's next in our on our journey. But um, um, we're definitely not going to give up. We're going to keep going. And as we keep going, we're going to update you guys, you know, keep you guys posted. Uh, hopefully with some better news. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah. We're oh. still planning our wedding, so yes, we're gonna yes, go yes. head towards our wedding. So hopefully after that, the wedding is coming soon. But before so. we, before we wrap up, though, we wanted to show you guys something that we do um, every night. So we have like our mantle of love. Um, this is a picture of Nova's grandma. Oh, this is my grandma who has who has passed on. Not right. just like she's not still here alive. She passed on, and then my my auntie. Um, I don't have any pictures because a lot of people who are still um, with me that I care about. They're still like on this on this earth. Um, we have some babies clothes. And these represent like uh, beautiful, healthy children. There you go. Yeah. And we just keep these we keep these like under our pillows. So if you watched our Sunday uh, reset video on Instagram, um, you'll see us like dress up to under our pillows. That's what the, that's what it is. Um, yeah. So we put these on our our pillows to. Uh, like babe said to manifest the our children through our love and right. the purpose of having like the pictures of my grandmother because obviously she's passed on so she's my ancestor and like you speak to your ancestors and to god and you let them know like the desires of your heart right so that's why that picture is under to let her know as well as god know um the desires of our heart to like have our babies and to please bless us with our babies right that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Yes. <laughs> this is definitely a tough one, but if you guys if you made it through the video, um, we really appreciate you. Make sure you leave a like, comment, you subscribe, and also share this video with anybody you, who you feel needs to see it. Um, also, like share your story, like in the comments, if yeah. you're like, oh wow, like we I've gone through this, like this was tough, like yeah. or like this video put it into perspective this video helped me like or you got some tips for us like right, right, right. in the comments let us know send us a message please yeah. and and to the fellas out there man step it up you know i know i know we're doing good but we, but we can always do better that's all i always say to my, to my, to my brother <laughs>